I'm not gonna waste any of your time. To naturally boost your testosterone, you must first curate your consumption. Now, what do I mean by this? I'm breaking it down into five pillars to naturally increase and stimulate your testosterone, first starting with sleep. Yes, sleep is by far the most important thing that you must be regulating in order to increase your testosterone. Now, when I talk about sleep, I don't mean like you just need to uh, get eight hours of sleep and then you're good to go, right? Now for you, adequate amount of sleep may be eight hours, it may be seven hours, it may be 10 hours. This depends on the individual. What I use is an aura ring. See, I measure stuff based on data. This aura ring helps give you what's called a sleep score. The sleep score would then allow you to kind of track and measure your sleep based on four different criteria. First one is just gonna be when you're awake. The second one is light sleep. Then you have deep sleep. And then you have REM cycle sleep. Now, as far as deep and REM cycle, this is the place where you need to be. This is when you're recovering um, and when your body is fully optimizing itself. Some quick tips to do that is going to be, one, make your room a little bit colder. Two, make sure your bedroom is a sanctuary, basically not having any other crap or noise going on. Three, take your phone, put it on airplane mode across the room don't worry about it and really just try to systematize your room to where you make it like i said a sanctuary for sleeping Sunlight is the second consumption that you need to be regulating. Yes, adequate amounts of sunlight are needed to make sure that your hormones are optimized. What happens is there's this thing called circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is your biological clock. This ties in a little bit with sleep. So what happens is when you wake up in the morning, you should be getting sunlight in your eyes. That sunlight then turns on this biological clock and what it does is it increases and raises your cortisol levels. That then gets you ready for the day, right? Get you prepared for the day. As the day goes on, sun starts lowering, now your cortisol levels decrease so you're not in stress. Instead, your melatonin starts increasing, then putting you in a state of um, kind of tired, lethargic, relaxing. So then you can have a proper night of sleep. Thus, the sun stimulates this. If you do not get adequate amounts of sunlight, you're not going to be getting the benefits that you get with circadian rhythm. See, the sun allows for your body to be in homeostasis, balanced, so that you can optimize your hormones, inevitably boost that testosterone. Now, staying with cortisol levels, we're going to talk about mental stress. Mental stress is something that you must be regulating your consumption on. What happens is when you don't regulate your consumption of mental stress, instead it just goes everywhere, your body raises in cortisol levels. Cortisol is basically the hormone that is released when you are in a stressful situation. Back in the day, this was great for uh, running around and all of a sudden a lion jumps out and tries to eat you. Cortisol levels increase, your body needs its energy real fast to run away from the lion. Nowadays, we have cortisol stimulating us every single day with constant stress, things going on, time, whatever it may be. Today in the modern age, cortisol levels are far, far, far beyond their normal levels that they should be at. And then as well, when you're in a constant state of stress, anxiety, fear, high cortisol, you're not going to be nearly as productive as if you have low cortisol levels. And this ties directly into testosterone because there's studies that show that testosterone levels and cortisol levels, they switch off. So when cortisol is high, testosterone is low. Testosterone gets high, cortisol goes low. They counteract each other. And so this is very, very important because if you are in a constant state of stress, fear, anxiety, all of these things, your testosterone level will be low due to that fact. One thing that I do to regulate my cortisol levels is meditation. Yes, I know, I know, don't, don't turn me off with that. No, meditation is so important because it allows clarity and focus in your head. It allows you to be calm when stressful things are going on in your life, right? You're able to just focus on literally nothing. And this allows for your body to process and deregulate that cortisol back to its normal baseline levels. With that being said, physical stress is highly important to increasing your testosterone levels. Yes, physical stress involving strength training, involving actual endurance and cardiovascular fitness, actually going out and working out help boost your testosterone levels because it stimulates not only the production of testosterone, but also production of growth hormone. So this increase in stress physically actually stimulates predecessor which is testosterone and growth hormone and so we do need a little bit of cortisol but it needs to be temporary see prolonged cortisol levels are not good temporary cortisol level with physical stress is what you need to be regulating and then that moves us into nutrition now this is the fifth pillar and nutrition why I wouldn't say it's the most important it is very important particularly with fats see fats allow for your bodies to get the micronutrients that it needs to build testosterone see we want to keep with mono unsaturated 
fats, right? So think of eggs, red meats, uh, coconut oil, olive oil, avocados, all of these things have monounsaturated fats. Now, if you look at other type of fats, saturated fats, those are gonna come in your candy bars, in your potato chips. Those are not good. We don't want any of those. Those have omega-6s. They're not great for us. We want the things that have omega-3s, help stimulate cortisol levels, which then stimulate your testosterone levels and help boost those so that you can see optimal hormones. But why should we stimulate testosterone in the first place? Like, why do we need it boosted? Well, testosterone is the lifeline for masculine traits. Like I talked about earlier, think of a deeper voice, bigger muscles. Think of like more body hair, like facial hair. All of these sort of things derive specifically from testosterone levels. And so to have adequate testosterone levels, you need to be anywhere from 300 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter. Now, this is total testosterone levels. See, when you actually go to a test, they break this down. What you want is free testosterone levels to be increased. These need to be anywhere from 35 to 155 nanograms per deciliter. So what we talked about in this video was total testosterone levels. But if you want to increase your free testosterone levels, go ahead and check that link in the description. There's a community there where I posted free content on how to specifically increase your free testosterone levels that will allow you to get those masculine traits that you need.